the first images from valencia show king felipe and queen letizia along with the president of the government pedro sanche and the president of the valencian community mezan the images are striking the truth is that the photos chosen by the royal household to announce that both felipe and letizia have visited the disaster area and have met to assess the latest developments reveal a lot they show clear discomfort on their faces you can see a total unease i don't know if it's due to pedro sanchez's presence but it appears that felipe ignores him entirely in the images you can see how sanche speaks more with the president of the valencian community than with the king himself meanwhile the king waits for his wife who seems to be talking with someone affected by the catastrophe as they head towards understanding the situation for many these images represent a shameful moment as it is well known that multiple buses were made available and even volunteers had to walk to different affected towns due to the dana storm authorities however did not allow them through claiming there were already enough volunteers on site i haven't seen so much police presence in the area as i have around all these officials it seems unnecessary to deploy such a heavy police presence and resources just for a visit to ground zero the police would be better stationed where the public actually needs them as there have been reports of thefts and looting with people even entering homes at night wearing red cross vests to ask for money and rob those who have already lost everything this seems to be the last straw the citizens main criticism is that they don't understand why these officials visited on a day when so many volunteers were turned away just so they could pose for a photo others question why on the fifth day it was seen as a positive for the prime minister to be there apparently it was king felipe who pressured sanche to deploy the army and increase the support being requested meanwhile sanche in his public statements keeps saying that anyone who needs help should ask for it we're witnessing a catastrophe like no other since the spanish civil war people have nowhere left to go here's a video that sums up our system well it's the fifth day nine a m and here we are standing in front of what used to be the butcher shop this place is overflowing here is my father standing next to me agreeing with me this is just inhumane and unfair look at the door of the butcher shop covered in trash this is our reality the one we're living not the one they are trying to sell to us it's day five in spain in aldea and this is our situation just so you know on the 31st i was charged euros six zero 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 for social security and euros five hundred in taxes they made sure to collect all those fees here's a photo to prove it this is what i pay social security for i won't say any more because i've never used this platform to speak out before but you can think about the rest yourselves it's inhumane that someone like my father at sixty three years old who has worked his whole life in this business is now left with nothing just the other day my friend carlos was happy because he thought he'd be inheriting a butcher shop but now there's nothing left to inherit at sixty three my father has lost everything and he doesn't even have a home after five days the people here feel completely abandoned some have been without assistance for two or three days the reality is that they've lived through an actual nightmare a hell five days later and still help has not fully arrived only the sea of exhausted volunteers keeps coming back day after day their clothes and boots covered in mud let me tell you the story of a man from a small village in valencia who has lost everything his sixty-three-year-old father lost his home and his business paying over euros six zero 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 as a well-respected entrepreneur in valencia he wonders why he even pays these amounts he pays social security yet receives no support no sustenance no food he feels the situation is not improving despite thousands of soldiers being prepared they haven't been deployed to me this feels like an insult to the people it's as though the government is mocking everyone today on november third not a single resignation or apology has been offered 
the expressions on everyone's faces are truly telling felipe is probably the most worried of all if it were up to him i believe he would deploy the entire army but for those who say he's doing nothing you should know that felipe can't do anything because he has his hands tied the powers lie with the government even as the head of state he lacks the authority to deploy the army entirely only the government can declare a state of emergency and mobilize the army in full to this disaster zone there are towns where no assistance has yet arrived on the fifth day there are still people who died trapped in their vehicles garages drowned in the floods and the police seem to be there just to handle the occasional heckling you've seen how protected the area where they are located is with security forces and civil protection meanwhile the public is left alone abandoned in the streets like dogs there are towns that have received no aid and people are rightfully outraged five days have passed and no one has been deployed honestly this generates not only a complete sense of disillusionment in me but also a severe lack of trust in our politicians who is governing us that they allow this to happen i hope that this marks a turning point because in my opinion they shouldn't even be showing up like this in rolled up sleeves looking well rested it's incredibly disrespectful if they come they should be here to help to listen to the people but they're off monitoring meteorological data nowhere near ground zero they haven't even set foot there and that makes me deeply suspicious what do you think let's open the debate in the comments always respectfully my condolences go out to all the victims to everyone who's still missing let's hope the help doesn't stop and that the trucks keep coming from municipalities all across the provinces the people help each other but the politicians are doing absolutely nothing